Cleveland, Ohio. How are you doing today? Great, Marcy. How are you doing? Excellent. Well, I wanted to uh, talk to you about your upcoming mission and the fact that you're going to be only the second woman commander for the International Space Station. Uh, Peggy Whitson, your boss, being the first. Uh, I wonder what your thoughts are about making history in terms of that. Um, you know, uh, honestly, uh, I try not to think about it because uh, it just sort of maybe gets me a little nervous. Uh, I think launching on a rocket doesn't get me as nervous as some of those, those other uh, facts that you point out every now and then. I think more importantly, um, honestly, is, uh, is we're, we're a great team together. I know Aki and Yuri and I are ready to go. Uh, we had some great sims to get us ready, our final sims here. We had some great sims in the U.S. So I think uh, as a team, we're ready to go and we're ready to uh, meet uh, the crewmates that are up there on board right now. Excellent. And uh, I know this time uh, it's going to be a little bit different for you going to the International Space Station. Last time you went up on a space shuttle, this time you're going on Soyuz. And I wonder uh, how you feel about the differences in terms of your training and what you um, expect. Yeah, this is a big change from last time. Last time we were right in the middle of the construction of the space station, so everybody knew what we're, we were going to go up there and probably do some spacewalks um, and try to you know, work on putting the space station together, uh, as well as doing a science along the way. But this time, uh, primarily, you know, the, the, the focus of the International Space Station is our international cooperation and doing the science experiments from all the different international partners. Um, hopefully we get a couple lucky bonuses by doing some uh, robotic operations and capturing a Japanese uh, uh, cargo vehicle, uh, maybe a commercial vehicle, and uh, possibly doing a spacewalk as well. But the focus this time is much more on science, and we're all looking forward to uh, uh, do helping each other out and doing that. Okay, and since uh, things have changed a lot since you were at the space station, I wonder what you're most looking forward to seeing on the space station on this visit. Um, well, I think everybody has talked about and I just can't wait to see the cupola. Uh, it's just an, an amazing um, part of the vehicle. When you see pictures, Don Pettit sent me some pictures at one point in time and said, this is going to be your view coming up pretty soon. And it's just, that's just amazing to me how we're going to be able to uh, use all of those windows to look not only down at our beautiful planet, but also out into the universe and uh, hopefully take some great pictures that we could send back for, for folks to hopefully share in our experience with us. Okay. Uh, I know the uh, Chinese just launched their first woman uh, astronaut into space, and I wonder um, if you've had any uh, uh, direct relation to speaking with Valentina Tereshkova in Russia, being the very first woman in space. I haven't uh, personally, except for one one time, I uh, met her in, in close quarters. Uh, of course, she's a role model to all of us. Uh, there's been uh, people who have done, women who have done amazing things before us and paved the way and made it uh, so that we can do the things that we're doing today. And uh, I'm really thankful for that. I think um, when I saw Valentina the Tereshkova the first the first time, um, I was with Katie Coleman and we were talking a little bit uh, about what we were doing. And it's a, it is a big step from what we did in the past. And I, I anticipate that this, the future of women in space will just be another big step. When I'm talking to little girls uh, back at home, they always ask me, you know, oh, is that suit heavy or is that spacecraft hard to fly? And I said, how does the suit or the spacecraft know it's a girl or a boy? So, you know, for that, for, for you know, just to bring that to light to uh, little girls out there, you know, why not try and do whatever you want to do? Absolutely. And um, I saw in one of your interviews uh, from Russia that you're taking your dog's dog tags with you. And uh, I know last time there was a, a flat Gorby event, uh, so I wonder what you're planning this time uh, with your dog. Well, that, that will be a little bit of a, a surprise. We'll see. Um, I'm definitely bringing his dog tag. I wish he was connected to his dog tag, but uh, associated with his dog tags are some dog tags from his friends. And so um, there are going to be a couple of them up there with me. Sounds excellent. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk to me today and have a great mission. Thank you, Marcy. Take care. Thank you.